Whoa, I feel like I've just run a marathon. Hi, Nick here from instantprofitpeople.com where you can learn with me direct from the experts about internet marketing. Welcome to my third video in Barry Wells's video challenge and I'm here on location at Noosa, Queensland, Australia. It's a beautiful location and I'm here to celebrate the launch of my new website, the Cat Cut the crap interview.com. I'll put a link below. On this website, I share information direct from experts about how you can make money successfully online. After what seems like a marathon, and I'm not talking about the run that I just took, uh, my website is finally up and running and open to the public. So check it out, tell me what you think, and leave some feedback below. I'd love to hear what you think. Honest feedback. Now today's video I'd like to share with you this trick that I learned to shrink the file size of the videos you make. Now if you're recording in high def or on your phone like I sometimes am, then it might come out high quality and really large files. You might end up with a gig just for five minutes of video. So I'll show you how you can compress that down to save you time uploading and save space on your computer. So let me show you how it's done. Okay, so this is a case where size does matter. Now, we all love free programs, and the tool I'm sharing with you today is a free program called Handbrake. You can find it simply by typing in Handbrake into Google. So, this is Handbrake. Now, if you're using a high-def video camera like the popular Canon TI3, then you're really going to love this tool as it will help reduce the file size, saving you space and time without sacrificing quality. Remember to check the YouTube preferred settings, which will vary depending on whether you're recording a high definition or standard definition. Just search YouTube suggested resolutions and bit rates, and this is what you'll come up with. Now I found that after I edit the file in Windows Movie Maker and then I run it through Handbrake, I can easily reduce the file size of the video by over 50% without any noticeable difference to the quality, and this is how I do it. So back over in the handbrake tool, what you want to do is select the source file, simply clicking through, and then the main thing you want to do is check web optimized, click video, ensure the codec is H.264, frame rate 29.97, and go back to picture, and simply press start. And this is a 100 megabyte file, and within 25 seconds, it's 100 megabyte plus, and within 25 seconds, it will convert this down to about 45, which is just brilliant. Saves it half, half the time and space. And over the side here, you can also have custom presets to create videos and formats for these sort of devices, which is quite useful. And you can also set your own. Plus, if you want to, you can play around with the settings, such as audio and change it to mono if you don't really need stereo that can also save a bit of space you can also change the picture settings with custom or the size and aspect ratio but i really only suggest doing that if you're really desperate to claim back some space because it can affect the quality of your video the best part about this program is you can preview what the changes are going to do to your video so you click on the preview and you can see how it's going to look it's that simple, it's a great program to use. Now if you're using a Mac, I suggest you use Elgato Turbo. I'll include a link below, as it's specifically designed for video rendering on a Mac and is quite powerful. If you do have any questions about this or if you do have any other software that you can recommend for Mac or PC as well, please feel free to share it down below because I love to know about these programs and I'm more than happy to share it with everyone else as well too. So there you go, a free simple tool you can use to shrink the large file size of your videos and save time uploading and save space on your hard drive. Don't forget to check out my new website, the link's below, and I'd love to hear what you think about it, so leave me some feedback and like this video too. Now stay tuned for next week where I'll share with you how I'm getting people on board to help promote my website and drive traffic. You don't want to miss that. Until then, see you online. Bye bye.